so welcome to this session now uh, today we are going to learn about the spirit so the output of this uh, session what we are going to make is this see the uh, the steady is moving like this and it is uh, bouncing from the edge so it's like a game where the steady is collecting some like uh, we can say a carrot or some points and uh, then you can show the display the points also so this background and the steady and uh, the motion with the key uh, the keyboard you can control like you will control the motions of the teddy with the arrow basically okay like this i am controlling right now it's down or up if i do up then up up and up 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 and only if i do left 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 it's left only okay so uh, we can control the motion of the teddy and how to make this complete uh, uh, animation that we are going to learn in this so this is the program which you are going to learn and how to make this that we are going to do okay so uh, i'm going back to the new one because uh, this is we made it now we are going with the new one so that we can start with the basics so go to the game lab now spirit is nothing but an object which you want to keep you want to place uh, so that uh, you can have have that object on on this animated place so this is spirit and the the size the put the this is the the here we declare the position that is x and y so this is x and this is y so 200 200 means center actually so the block will be the box the the whatever uh, you want like we are right now we are going to first <coughs> create a box then we'll come with the teddy or any other animation so the position and the size we can give so this is the size length and width so suppose I give it a like 50 50 okay so this is the size of spirit so if you're not uh, yes if you're not uh, specifying then it will take us like a, a default uh, any uh, spirit size right so that way uh, we have created one object we have created one object here through this so uh, let's discuss this uh, how we are making so as you can see that uh, we have created this spirit here and our draw function so you have to use the draw function as you know that now in the draw uh, you you need to create a background first if you are not creating background then the the work will not be proper uh, i will show you if you are not creating background what will happen so uh, we are creating the background now uh, go to the spirit now what we want is we want uh, yeah we want to draw it right so for drawing we have to go to the world and draw spirit so whatever you have made uh, it will be shown here this is the box we have shown right this box why box because if you have not selected any animation then this will show you a box simple so uh, this way we have created simple box now if you want like the movement okay so let's go to spirit now we have the different different movements now if i say go to the spirit x-axis and uh, velocity x-axis velocity x-axis means the spirit will move or the object the box will move in x direction in a positive x direction positive means right hand side direction with a one speed so can you say this yeah so this way at one speed it is moving okay now if you want uh, the spirit to move in y direction you want spirit in y y means up direction if you are giving positive so it's down yeah it's down sorry uh, when you give positive it's down when you give negative minus one if you give negative minus one then it will go to up okay now if you give both then it will go cross so like this if you say so it will go down and uh, if you give upward so both are i have selected actually y so select uh, x and sorry select x and give it one now you can see it's going cross because x and y you want both way to move so it's going cross okay so this way we can get this motion now if you do both the minus suppose 
uh, minus one this way so both will be like in this direction so you can control the direction with the help of the speed now uh, uh, speed you can increase decrease height and width you can increase decrease so we will not use all the labels but we will try to uh, do a different different task with the help of that so uh, now we will go for like uh, uh, we will control the motion of this block with the help of our keyboard so for that uh, we have the like uh, this key key down when you press what will happen that is there with us uh, this we will use function so for uh, what we are doing is we are not learning each and every uh, command every uh, in a one go okay we'll learn first and we'll do practicals on that that we will do so for that we'll use if condition now what is the if condition now i will remove this because we don't require right now this so if condition what is if condition so if means uh, if the if you press the key down if you press key down key up suppose key up okay then what should happen so what should happen so it should velocity up up means x y axis should come uh, should go to suppose minus 1 minus 1 means up so now you can try this so it's on now i am pressing up so it's going up can you see this yes so so this is for up now same way you can go for the other also like uh, control if and when you press the key like this now it's down and uh, in the spirit you can go to down means plus so one so same way again if uh, you can go for the multiple if directly like this and uh, you can go for like uh, world and uh, go for the multiple keys like this and now left and down right and the spirit you can go for left and right you need to have x axis now x axis generally the plus one is right and ne negative is a left sorry so we have to give here negative and here right is positive always so let's try so it's up down left and right okay so that way we have controlled uh, the that box with the help of this um, this functions if function so if this is true when you press this this should happen when you press this this should happen when you press this this should happen if you don't press anything and nothing should be happen okay so we have completed this now we'll uh, uh, do the age so all the corners uh, when the box uh, box uh, or block strike it should bounce back that we want so we have the bounce off or bounce function and uh, for that we have to add this age create age spirit age so we have to create ages so we have to add this function to uh, use this spread bounce okay now we'll have this target we want like you have to write this left age which spelling should be correct if you are not giving proper spelling then it will not work so uh, write this and click here and you get this same way uh, go for the others also so like left eye return now you write right age okay, and click here same way right left now top age click here and bottom age and click here okay so when i write uh, this four now all four uh, edges of this square are protected now the box will bounce back as it strike now the speed is very low so i will increase the speed so i will do five instead of one so it's five 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 and five so the speed is should be high see this so it's bounce back because I have given bounce of right edge, left edge, bottom edge, and top edge. So everywhere we are bouncing, right? So this way we have created bouncing of that. Now we want to add the animation. So set split to animation. 
now here animation you have to go here and you have to select animation so you can get anything like there are many so you can select this bunny so name you can write your name also the bunny now you have to write here uh, animation here you have to write bunny okay so the bunny will set now you can see this bunny is running right now if you want to change the size of the bunny then you can give the uh, width and uh, height as per your requirement like you want 50 50 so the size will be small so you can see this now if you want the height is more so keep it 70 if you want so it's okay now now it's like it's bouncing like this okay and uh, now if you want to change the background like you want red so you can get red like this so this is how you complete your project so hope you just clear if it is not clear please call me back so that i can help you i can explain you how to make this animation of your game thank you